The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is taken from the book of Jonah. The word of Yahweh was addressed to Jonah a second time. Up, he said, go to Nineveh, the great city, and preach to it, as I shall tell you. Jonah set out and went to Nineveh in obedience to the word of Yahweh. Now Nineveh was a city great beyond compare. To cross it took three days. Jonah began by going a day's journey into the city and then proclaimed, only 40 days more and Nineveh will be overthrown. And the people of Nineveh believed in God. They proclaimed a fast and put on sackcloth from the greatest to the least. When the news reached the king of Nineveh, he rose from his throne, took off his robe, put on sackcloth, and sat down in ashes. He then had it proclaimed throughout Nineveh by decree of the king and his nobles as follows. No person or animal, herd or flock, may eat anything. They may not graze, they may not drink any water. All must put on sackcloth and call on God with all their might. And let everyone renounce his evil ways and violent behavior. Who knows? Perhaps God will change his mind and relent and renounce his burning wrath so that we shall not perish. God saw their efforts to renounce their evil ways and God relented about the disaster which he had threatened to bring on them and did not bring it. And our response from Psalm 51, for I am well aware of my offenses. My sin is constantly in mind. Against you, you alone I have sinned. I have done what you see to be wrong that you may show your saving justice when you pass sentence, and your victory may appear when you give judgment. Give me back the joy of your salvation. Sustain in me a generous spirit. I shall teach the wicked your paths, and sinners will return to you. In your graciousness, do good to Zion. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will delight in upright sacrifices, burnt offerings, and whole oblations, and young bulls will be offered on your altar. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. The crowds got even bigger, and Jesus addressed them. This is an evil generation. It is asking for a sign. The only sign it will be given is the sign of Jonah. For just as Jonah became a sign to the people of Nineveh, so will the Son of Man be a sign to this generation. On Judgment Day, the Queen of the South will stand up against the people of this generation and be their condemnation, because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And look, there's something greater than Solomon here. On Judgment Day, the men of Nineveh will appear against this generation and be its condemnation because when Jonah preached, they repented. And look, there is something greater than Jonah here. The Gospel of the Lord.